Welcome to Editing with TSC. Hello everyone. Today we are covering basic editing in Lightroom slash Photoshop. Today at that a flash fail moment when you have this beautiful photo and boom bank it has red eyes. Don't delete let me show you have to fix this in just over three minutes. Introduction and what you will need to edit the photos. One, time, 305 minutes to edit the red eyes. Two, objective, to teach essential photo editing techniques. Three, materials, computer with photo editing software, e.g. Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom, or free alternatives like GIMP. Okay, so quickly, just let's go over the learning area that we will cover in this presentation. Fixing red eyes. Learning areas. One, fixing red eyes. Explain what red eye is, caused by flash reflection in the eyes. Demonstrate how to use the red eye reduction tool. Show before and after examples. Practice. Students edit a photo with red eyes. Okay, let's just go over the key points. Key points. Cause, flash reflection of the retina. Appearance, red pupils in photos. Conditions, common in low light settings with direct flash. Prevention tips. Avoid direct flash. Use natural light or an external flash. Increase ambient light. Brighten the room to reduce pupil size. Red eye reduction mode. Many cameras have this feature to minimize the effect. Alright, so let's get stuck into it. Chosen a picture, two red eyes, like I, pupil red eyes. Like I said before, you won't be the first nor the last to make this mistake. Um, today's new cameras, like I said before, they actually have it built in in their camera. So if your camera has that, then you skip the step. Um, those that we've taken a photo and we haven't used an external flash or um, or lit enough a room to actually get the right um, lighting, this is what happens and we get the shadows and all of that. But with everything being um, updated, we are actually very, very lucky these days, even the programs like Lightroom and all of that, they have the little filter built in, which makes it so much easier for editing. Um, but like I said, I am working with Lightroom um, Classic. It's got the same buttons as Lightroom. Those that work in other programs like GIMP or whatever have you, please, if you can fix up red eyes, share your edits with us as well because we all have to learn and if everything comes along easier you'll all be super stars of editing right so lightroom picture i've already put in here as you can see the red eyes here we're going to use this fantastic little tool that's by a fur one one two three fourth button and it's got a little cross and an eye this is what makes magic so you press on that make sure you've got red eye all you have to do is just make sure you're in the center of the eye are you ready three two one right three two one and it does it for you there's also a few little things added on how you can actually make the pupil size bigger if you want to or bring it down smaller but then you have to go back and correct that so i just make it where it all fits in and we can darken and bring the side down so you can do all of those things so i'm just going to bring it there if i don't see the red and right so now let's do a before and after red eyes fixed up there we go and how long did it take not long and that is in lightroom using the eye the eye tool and it fixes red eyes and that's all it takes you will never have a photo with red eyes again and it doesn't even take long and you can do that so here we go that's all it took 
So now you know the neck to correct those eyes, feel really good. So you wondering what might be the next step? Well once we have successfully completed the red eye editing area, we shall be editing. Correcting overexposed photos. What you will learn. Oh discuss overexposure, too much light, and its impact on photos. Oh teach exposure adjustments, brightness, contrast, highlights, shadows. Oh demonstrate using exposure sliders. Oh practice, students correct an overexposed image. Thank you for joining and we hope that this basic little tip will be of great help to your editing. I will post the link next week for the photo you need to edit for this assignment and then submit it. Please note that you do not have to do the assignments. Once again, hope this will be helpful. Bye for now. Shaz and Tony. TSC